so good morning dear student how are you are you enjoying the series of uh, power electronic devices yes tell me what is your opinion my dear friend should we handle directly problem or bit theory of uh, all devices like scr gto trike and etc yeah hello brijesh and everyone yes tell me fast are you interested in the devices theory as well or directly numerical what is your opinion yes think over it and tell me think over it and tell me yeah sir switch uh, should i take a theory and uh, then lots of numerical very nice so we will discuss here first theory not a detailed theory we will discuss like key points with our best understanding okay yes so should we start very nice so very nice uh, surjit and everyone refer gate academy global gate academy okay <laughs> very nice so here we are going to discuss vi characteristic of scr and my dear friend before starting this vi characteristics of scr i would like to tell you many points regarding scr and you know very well it is really not easy to mention all the points on the board so we will discuss okay few questions then we will uh, try to cover vi characteristics of the scr so everyone are you ready to reply answers of some question tell me okay yeah so show me your curiosity like uh, how much you are going to like uh, uh how much you are going to learn the concepts like in how much depth so can you tell me sir please explain a theory in bit detailed as well as helpful for many exam and college exam yeah definitely dear definitely <coughs> so first tell me fast tell me fast scr is a minority charge carrier device yes or no speak up fast scr is a minority charge carrier device is first question bjt is a minority charge carrier device is another question so tell me scr and bjt both are minority charge carrier device yes very nice so start your job scr and bjt both are minority charge carrier device is true or false is true or false next question okay i want to speak many questions okay like uh, with respect to scr points so you have to just tell me either whatever i'm saying is true or false okay yes start your job so scr and bjt is minority or minority charge carrier device true or false first question second question we have many types scr okay as i told you in the previous session i want to ask you very silly question in the ac to dc converter whatever scr we use that scr will operate at the switching frequency of less than 2 200 hertz or 300 hertz is correct or not is correct or not yeah very nice it is correct my dear friend now listen to me carefully scr whatever we use in ac to dc converter the scr this this scr does not have very high frequency the switching frequency of this scr is really very less not more than 300 hertz or 200 hertz okay why the switching frequency is somewhat very small because we want to make voltage and current rating as much as high possible and due to the high voltage and current rating uh, the turn off time is really very small because impurity level is high see the wording impurity level high and when impurity level is high the voltage blocking capacity and the current carrying capacity should also be high this is crystal clear point okay hopefully all the points are clear <coughs> now what about next thing we know it my dear friend we know it scr is a combination of two transistor np and and pnp and transistors are controlled so that's why scr is somewhat controlled okay definitely it is semi controlled as i told you because we can trigger only with the help of positive gate pulse but we cannot turn off this scr by negative gate current why because it is minority charge carrier device and recombination process is not done or we cannot complete with the help of negative gate current because the magnitude or the amount of negative gate current is really very small 
and we cannot pass huge amount of current through the body of SCR with a terminal of gate. Otherwise, due to high temperature loss, SCR will get damaged before commutation. Before commutation, the beauty of a statement. Before commutation. In other words, my dear friend, we can say we have some commutation circuit like force commutation, class A, class B, class C, class D, etc. Voltage commutation, current commutation, natural commutation. Like this, all the commutation, okay, I want to tell you, except natural, are going to fail to commutate your SCR, whatever you want to use in AC to DC converter. Now you can ask, sir, why the force commutation is not done in AC to DC converter? My dear friend, the answer is really very easy. The designing of SCRs uh, used for AC to DC converter based on impurity mainly. And when impurity level is somewhat high, it is really not easy job for the commutation circuit to commutate our SCR. We require the inductor and capacitor size is somewhat very large. So the commutation circuit size will be somewhat large, the values of parameter somewhat large, so uneconomical process, uneconomical process. So force commutation is never like is the part or can be the part of your AC to DC converter. That's why we want to design our SCR for AC to DC converter in such a way so that they can naturally commutate it, naturally commutate it. So in other words or in easy words we can say if we have one SCR whatever is connected in AC to DC converter and we want to use the same SCR in the DC to DC converter that means chopper and we apply force commutation then really not easy job you will face many complexity after all the scr whatever used in uh, dc to dc converter is a high switching frequency device maybe in general 1 kilohertz or 500 hertz whatever we use in ac to dc converter the switching frequency is very small try to understand the phenomena behind the switching frequency so let us assume for time being you are, you are an engineer okay of uh, devices or to design the devices then at that moment the first strong point to de to design the devices is nothing but switching frequency current and voltage rating as well as power rating as i told you in many previous lectures hopefully these points are clear to all of you <laughs> yeah i can understand my dear friend uh, this is really not easy to write down all the points on the uh, board, but I hope that you are getting all the points in detailed way and definitely you will make some notes, some, some, short, notes, some short notes on this topic. Okay? So it will really be very useful for your gate examination as well as any other examination. Okay? Now I want to tell you another thing, the SCR GTO trike especially the thyristor family members as i told you are regenerative devices why they are called regenerative devices because latching current phenomena is there what is the meaning of latching current phenomena we will discuss sometime later hardly after 30 minutes but my dear friend just keep in mind the devices bjt mosfet and igbt are not regenerative devices because those devices does not have any phenomena of or do not have any phenomena of latching current. So in gate examination, if they ask uh, how many number of devices are regenerative devices and they are provided some option, you can easily select. All the thyristor family group devices are regenerative devices and rest are non-regenerative devices. If they are serious to ask uh, why uh, regenerative devices, then just simple answer due to latching current phenomena, due to latching current phenomena. So tell me, till now all the points are clear to everyone, please speak up fast. Till now, every points are clear. Yes. <laughs> yeah, tell me fast here. You are getting all the points? Very nice. Now, by the ending of some key points of SCR, again I want to introduce the voltage blocking capacity and the current, uh, current capacity of the SCR. My dear friend, 
once uh, you will design SCR, you will feel many complexity or many new things in SCR in comparison to power diode or power BJT. So here we will discuss many more things after some time. But before starting the VI characteristic of SCR, I would like to introduce three modes again. So when our SCR anode voltage is greater than cathode voltage, it will work in forward blocking mode. And obviously it will be off because we are not providing triggering through the gate terminal. So in this situation, our SCR will block entire positive voltage, whatever we will apply. Similarly, similarly in the same way, if we apply negative voltage across the SCR, in other words, cathode voltage is higher than anode voltage, our SCR will naturally commutate it or forcefully commutate it. It depends which type job you are doing here. And once your uh, SCR will be reverse wise, nobody can turn on it. If you will try forcefully, SCR will get damaged. So please never try to turn on SCR in reverse mode. And obviously it is unilateral device. Why it is unilateral device? Because whatever current will flow in the first zone when anode voltage is greater than cathode voltage due to the triggering, same amount of current will not flow when you change the polarity of SCR with triggering. So that's why it is unilateral device. The VI characteristic of first quadrant is not similar to third quadrant. This is the basic definition of unilateral. Then I told you we have many SCRs. Some SCRs are really very useful for the series and parallel combination. For example, light emitting SCR or light activating SCRs. So my dear friend, it is really not easy to say all the SCRs we, ca we can connect either in series or parallel. If we want to uh, connect uh, SCRs, whatever, uh, want to trigger by gate pulse and want to connect in series or parallel, they will introduce a lot of complexity, high heat losses. We require heavy protection against it. So that's why this job is really not good. Now, we want to use light emitting SCR or light activating SCR many advantages over the gate triggering SCRs. Okay? So please uh, be serious at this moment and in gate examination, if somebody will ask for the series and parallel combination, which type of SCRs are really most uh, useful or most economical, then answer will be light activating SCRs. <coughs> Similarly, as an electrical engineer, we are really uh, very serious for the compensation of reactive power. And with the help of SCRs, the reactive power compensation is really somewhat easy in comparison to capacitor bank. Many reasons are there, you know very well. The capacitor bank size is somewhat high or large. The cost of capacitor bank is also somewhat large. We require large area to install the capacitor bank as well as there will be some displacement current or you can say charging current of the capacitor which will interrupt the voltage control profile. So many drawbacks we have of the capacitor bank, but still we are using because we want to compensate our reactive power. However, although we can replace uh, our capacitor bank by the SCRs also for the compensation of reactive power. Now it is these uh, SCRs are really very popular in the electrical world to compensate the reactive power. And the name of those SCRs are nothing but asymmetrical SCR. What is the name? Asymmetrical SCR. So in gate examination or in any other examination, if somebody want to ask you, very easy question. Which type of SCR we can use for reactive power compensation? Answer is nothing but asymmetrical SCR. Now tell me, the all points whatever I said till now are clear to everyone? Are clear to everyone? Yeah. Very nice. So my dear friend, you know very well, it is really not, uh, as I told you, it is really not easy to write all the points on the board. Sometimes we should be capable to understand all the points by just, uh, like, just by communication, okay? This is the thing. Now I want to tell you many more things. Please be serious because uh, I want to suggest you the all key points and properties of SCR you must learn for the gate examination especially 
because nobody knows it from which corner your professor are serious okay maybe they can ask uh, at 360 degree or maybe they can ask from zero degree also okay it depends like uh, you, you you know very well okay like they can ask from basics they can ask from moderate level they can ask from advanced level so we must be serious regarding all points of the scr okay hopefully you are getting this point now few key points again i want to tell you as i told you my dear friend scr can block both voltage either positive or negative okay and in the ac to dc converter we require uh, control either on positive voltage as well as on negative voltage so due to this reason the voltage blocking capacity of positive and negative both are equal and this is the main reason so that's why junction j1 and j2 voltage blocking capacity are almost the same meanwhile i want to introduce another things about the junction j1 and j2 the reverse blocking voltage is blocked by junction j1 so to block negative voltage there is no purpose of j3 it is really very weak in comparison to of j1 so in examination if they are asking uh, which junction is really responsible to block negative voltage answer is not j1 j3 answer is not j1 j3 answer will be only j1 because the junction j3 is introducing in between p2 and n2 and n2 is highly doped thin layer the impurity level is really very high so due to this reason our junction is not capable to block high voltage so my dear friend j3 will get fail even to block 20 volt or 30 volts it is really not capable similarly whenever we want to apply positive voltage the junction j2 is uh, responsible so we don't have any other second choice and junction j1 is performed in between p1 and n1 junction j2 is performed in between p2 and n2 sorry uh, n1 and p2 junction j1 p1 n1 junction j2 n1 p2 we require both capacity are equal so that's why n1 is dipped reason and p1 p2 are equal p1 and p2 are equal how they can design question for the gate examination they can design question in this fashion we want to design one scr for ac to dc converter then what will be the like construction of p1 n1 and p1 n1 and p2 so you can say sir we want to block same voltage positive and negative so that's why n1 is common in between p1 and p2 so make n1 drift reason and p1 p2 impurity is somewhat not very low not very high kind of moderate level by this approach we can achieve our job and due to all those reasons scr really <coughs> sorry too much popular or very popular in the electrical uh, power tonics converter now you can uh, compare scr is like uh, amitabh bachchan of bollywood nobody can replace it easily doesn't matter rest devices has a uh, high switching frequency very low conduction loss very low switching loss but still scr has like uh, some characteristics and that characteristics is better than many other devices in comparison to some parameters especially in terms of voltage and current rating or we can say power handling capacity so if somebody will ask in an interview why scr is so popular we have many more devices for example igbt mosfet and bjt controlled one even for scr we, we require force commutation sometimes when natural commutation is not possible then my dear friend dear students you have to reply answer in that way sir no doubt scr will provide somewhat high switching losses somewhat high conduction losses but still it is really very popular because the voltage and current rating or in other words power handling capacity of scr is maybe more than two times in comparison to any other power electronic device that's why nobody is capable to replace our scr especially in hvdc especially in hvdc please mind it now somebody will ask the scr is going to take a large large time in turn off process you will say no sir no issue scr take no doubt we know that we know it scr require more time to get turned off but we are not very serious about it because according to indian frequency we have time period of 20 millisecond in this 20 millisecond we can cover our turn off time 
if the cycle time one cycle time in terms of microsecond for example 10 microsecond or 20 microsecond the really job will be tough if the SCR turnoff time is more than the one cycle turnoff time obviously it, it is not good job before using our devices in the converter we must compare the time period of one cycle and the turn on turn off time of devices so turn on and turn off time of devices are really very less than one cycle of the output that's why SCRs whatever we use in AC to DC converter not useful in the DC to DC converter or in any other places okay so my dear friend again you can say uh, the SCRs uh, whatever we use in cyclo converter in cyclo converter to decrease the frequency or to increase the frequency really not easy okay in that cases the switching frequency of SCR is somewhat larger or higher hopefully all the points are clear now tell me dear please everyone all the points are clear I know it it was really not easy job but hopefully you are get, you you are understanding all the points in proper way and uh, these points will be helpful for your examination as well as for your confidence okay so I think many new new points you have learned at this moment okay yes tell me dear so it's my request and suggestion that make short notes on all the points or otherwise just revise all the points okay and uh, keep uh, these points in your mind for a long time interval up to like uh, your gate examination minimum okay so now we want to discuss vi characteristics of scr okay so as we discuss my dear friend the symbol of scr will look like something and now we are serious to uh, draw vi characteristic of scr so now my dear friend i want to write SCR is semi controlled device SCR is semi controlled device how we can trigger my dear friend <coughs> yeah reply fast reply fast how we can trigger SCRs okay so see it is really very easy just providing by gate pulse positive positive gate pulse we can trigger our SCR okay so now see properly let us assume my dear friend here we have some SCR in this fashion okay so this is our anode it is our cathode and uh, I want to write minus K or it will be good if we will mention polarity sometime later now I want to introduce here some gate terminal and uh, this layer my dear friend I want to give name P1 and 1 P2 and N2 so this is highly doped layer this is lightly doped layer so in short you can mention when minus sign is there this is called dripped reason when plus sign is there then plus sign is there highly concentrated level okay similarly p1 and p2 level you know here i want to show some junctions j1 j2 and j3 now my dear friend i want to draw or we want to draw vi characteristics of scr vi characteristics of scr okay so i need your full concentration at this moment at this moment I don't need your full concentration how we can draw VI characteristic of SCR either in ideal way or in practical way either in ideal way or in practical way so see now when we want to apply see here Vital, when we want to apply negative voltage at anode negative voltage at anode and positive voltage at cathode hopefully you are getting point negative voltage at anode and positive voltage at cathode so see properly if we want to apply here some voltage negative and positive see this is the thing now this junction j1 will be reverse biased we have already discussed j3 will also reverse biased so obviously no current will flow negative and positive and practically we can say some current will flow is called reverse saturation current magnitude wise this current is really very small magnitude wise this current is really very small so now my dear friend the current will flow in this fashion and voltage blocked by this junction is really very high whatever you will apply here so in this case what will happen SCR will work as an open circuit because anode is at lower and cathode is at higher so if we apply some voltmeter here my dear friend the reading of voltmeter will be similar to your supply whatever you are applying here minus plus hopefully you are getting all the points okay 
Now some very small current will flow. So if you apply some ammeter here, the ammeter reading will be in terms of micro ampere or just milli ampere, hardly. So what will be the VI characteristics in the reverse mode of an SCR? Please be serious, beta. at every moment. <laughs> so here, the reverse characteristics of SCR will be something like this. Very high voltage, very high voltage and very small current. So this is the current response, my dear friend. This is the current axis. This is the current axis and that one is voltage axis. So here, we want to draw reverse characteristics. And obviously, as, uh, obviously, my dear friend, every practical SCR will have one breakdown limit, will have one breakdown limit. So somewhere here, we are going to say the SCR will have some breakdown limit in this fashion. SCR has some breakdown limit in this fashion. And I want to show this limit by dotted one, like this. It is called VBR, reverse breakdown voltage. Reverse breakdown voltage. And this current, my dear friend, this current is called reverse saturation current, IRS. Yeah, now tell me, all the points are clear? Start your job, please. We want to increase our uh, like speed so that you can understand all the points in fast mode. Yeah, very nice. Now, my dear friends, see here. If we want to apply positive voltage across this, positive voltage across this, okay, in this fashion, positive voltage. Now, what will happen if we will apply positive voltage, some small current will flow because we are not triggering by gate pulse. So now, in this case, this junction J2 will be reverse biased. You are getting my point? In the last, according to the last classes. So J2 is a reverse biased. Now, J2 will work as an open circuit and your entire positive voltage will block by J2. So now here, if we connect some voltmeter, the reading of voltmeter is nothing but is equal to your supply voltage. My dear friend, is equal to your supply voltage. So here, I want to show next thing. So this is your leakage current, as I told you. And somewhere here is our forward blocking voltage. And this forward blocking voltage is exactly equal to theoretically reverse blocking voltage. Theoretically, otherwise this VBR somewhat higher than uh, your forward blocking voltage, this one. And here, my dear friend, I want to show some current and this current is called leakage current due to like room temperature and, and, and any other phenomena. Hopefully this thing is clear. Now I want to tell you very easy question beta. Okay, very easy question or very easy analysis. Now we are going to, now we are going to apply my dear friend, gate pulse or positive gate pulse, gate pulse or positive gate pulse in between gate and cathode. So see properly, here we want to apply positive voltage at anode and negative voltage at cathode. And meanwhile, we also want to apply some positive negative voltage somewhere here is gate voltage Vg and this current is Ig. Now this current Ig will flow in this fashion. And due to the flowing of this Ig current, obviously electrons will generate in this way. Electron will generate in this way. Now, if electron will generate somewhere here, then due to electron generation, this junction J2, that reason will have breakdown. And due to this breakdown, as I told you yesterday, some small current start to flow initially in this fashion. In this fashion. And still your gate current is flowing, so slowly current magnitude is going to rise. And the name of this current, I want to write IA. And the name of this current, I want to write IA. So due to this thing or due to this phenomena, my dear friend, here, what will happen? If we apply <coughs> initially some uh, negative gate, uh, sorry, the, some positive gate current, then what will be the I characteristic? See, properly. When we apply, my dear friend, positive gate pulse, you know very well, SCR anode current is going to increase. You are getting my point? 
SCR anode current is going to increase, whereas voltage across SCR is going to decrease. We are serious. We, we know it, my dear friend. Any semiconductor device, if it is going to turn on, then conductivity obviously will increase. Okay, because res resistive uh, things will decrease. And due to this reason, current will increase. And obviously, when semiconductor device moves to conductor side, current increasing, then voltage decreasing. So, what will be the VI characteristic of SCR? Or how we can draw the VI characteristic of SCR? Is really not tough, my dear friend. So, this is the maximum voltage, whatever we can apply across the SCR in positive mode. And once you apply gate pulse, my dear friend, in this fashion, due to gate pulse, the anode current is going to increase and the voltage is going to decrease like this. So here, this is the reference is I, this is the reference is V. We want to draw VI characteristic of SCR in such a way so that at every point, we have to show that our current is increasing and voltage is decreasing. Voltage is decreasing. How we can achieve this job? So this is the current reference, this is the voltage reference, it is maximum voltage. So if you want to decrease voltage, my dear friend, we have to move in this direction. You are agree now. If we want to decrease voltage across SCR, we have to move in this direction. In That means in left and direction. My dear friend, it is clear now. Because it is the maximum voltage, whatever we can apply across SCR. And due to conduction, the voltage will decrease. So obviously, we have to move in this direction. And the, when the voltage is going to decrease, when the voltage is going to decrease across SCR, <coughs> it, give, it will give you guarantee that current will increase. So I want to show like this. If the voltage is going to increase, current will, uh, sorry, if the voltage is going to decrease, current will increase. Similarly, again voltage decreases, current increases. Again voltage decreases, current increases. Again voltage decreases, current increases. Again voltage decreases, current increases, my dear friend. Again voltage decreases, current increases. Similarly, again voltage decreases, current more increases. And at some point, our SCR will be completely on. So somewhere here, I want to write the SCR is completely on. And this voltage, I want to represent by V gamma. What is the meaning of V gamma? It's nothing but turn on voltage. It's nothing but turn on voltage. So please, dear student, tell me, this concept is clear to everyone. When this voltage going to decrease, current increase, voltage decrease, current increase, voltage decrease, current increase, like this. So this phenomena, basically, we have to use to draw the VI characteristics of SCR. VI characteristics of SCR. Please tell me. This thing is clear. <coughs> so what will be the point? Let us assume some IG gate current is flowing here, here. So some variation in there. And now we have new current. And new current is somewhat high, so voltage is somewhat low. Similarly, again applied. So voltage decrease, current increase. So we have to show our VI characteristic in this fashion. Voltage decrease, current increase. Then current increase, voltage decrease, like this. So we have to follow this negative slope in this fashion, my dear friend. So how we can draw VI characteristics is really not tough at all. So I want to show in this fashion, like this, okay? Similarly, uh, continuously we are following our uh, gate current. So due to all different currents, my dear friend, new anode current we will achieve. New anode current we will achieve in this fashion. Similarly, after many, like after considerable time interval, we will receive a considerable anode current and after which obviously, my dear friend, after which obviously we can say our device will completely on. So I want to write uh, roughly some name here. So let us assume this is the IG1, this is the IG2, this is the IG3 like this. So that uh, or to represent or to show our different current either by gate current 1, gate current 2, gate current 3 is really not good. Because our gate current is always a fixed quantity in general. We have to design this fixed quantity. Uh, sure, sure, please. Uh, I, I will repeat. Just wait a moment, Sarvajit. So see, the most important thing. Any semiconductor device, when it is off, will work, you tell me and everyone tell me, will work as an insulator or conductor. Think over it. Will work as an insulator or conductor. When the device or semiconductor device is off, obviously it will work as an insulator. At the moment when we just trigger our device, the conductivity will increase. 
or the amount of current through the device is going to increase. So when the current is going to increase, obviously insulating limit, okay, or the potential limit is going to decrease. So once current through the device is going to increase, the voltage sustaining limit going to decrease, this phenomena basically we want to use to draw the VI characteristics of SCR. Initially, our SCR is going to block high voltage. So my dear friend, when we apply gate pulse, due to this gate pulse, we have large electrons near to this region, my dear friend, near to gate region. And due to this thing, please try to understand, here some current will flow. And when IG current will flow, this IA current is start to flow. This IA current is start to flow. So initially, the amount of IA is really low. But after some time, this IA will be very high. And finally, our SCR is completely on. And the moment when our SCR is completely on, you can understand we can remove this gate pulse. So this is the basic idea behind this. Hopefully, this thing is clear. <laughs> so what will be the VI characteristic of SCR? Think over it. Okay, so now my dear friend, I want to remove all the VI characteristics, want to explain again so that you can understand all the things. Okay, properly. Ara, try to understand easily. Try to understand in easy way. What will be the thing? See properly. At the beginning, we apply gate pulse. Due to gate pulse, some current IA, anode current is going to increase and obviously voltage is going to decrease. So I want to say decrease voltage, increase current. So in which fashion we can show, see here, I want to make some point. So this point is showing voltage decrease as well as current increase. Now again, continuously get current is flowing. Next point we assume here. So see, my dear friend, voltage again decreases, current still increases. So like this, our VI characteristic of SCR should be. Like this, VI characteristic of SCR should be, okay? So I want to draw actual VI characteristics of SCR in this fashion. Please give me a few seconds to show the VI characteristics in proper way. To show the VI characteristics in proper way. Okay? Yeah. So now we triggered our SCR by this thing. So we can say in this fashion we have. Similarly, my dear friend, if we have uh, continuously triggering, then still current will increase and voltage will decrease. So current is going to increase, voltage is going to decrease by all the VI characteristics by all the VI characteristics. Next, my dear friend, in this fashion. Similarly, continuously, continuously like this. Okay? Now, in the fashion, same, we can show in this way also. Okay? And all currents, obviously, will be somewhat different current. All currents will be somewhat different current. Okay? So now, like this. Okay? So sometimes, uh, really, it is very easy uh, to understand uh, the VI characteristic of SCR like this. And finally, somewhere here, I want to show my dear friend, our SCR is completely on. And this voltage is V gamma. And once our SCR is completely on, okay, then please keep in mind, the current will be constant or current will be almost constant. So when our SCR is completely on, current will be almost constant and the amount of current is controlled by my dear friend. See here, I'm writing a steady state current of SCR. A steady state current of SCR is controlled by is controlled by circuit. Controlled by circuit. It is really very easy. So it is not unbounded current, my dear friend. It is not unbounded current. It is bounded one. See properly. It is the bounded one, not unbounded. And the steady state amount of current will decided by the circuit in which SCR is present. Now, everyone can you tell me, every body of SCR, whatever, like uh, doesn't matter, we are considering SCR. We can consider power diode, VJT MOSFET, any other device. Can you tell me, all the devices are sensitive with respect to temperature or very less sensitive with respect to temperature. 
लाइक हाईली सेंसिटिव विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू टेम्परेचर और वेरी लेस सेंसिटिव विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू टेम्परेचर वेरिएशन यस स्पीक अप इफ यू हैव सम बेसिक आइडिया If you have some basic idea, please everyone tell me first. My dear friend, we know that all electronic devices are really very sensitive with respect to temperature. That's why we use silicon SCR, not germanium. Okay. So due to this reason, if the temperature is going to vary or there is some variation in the temperature, our body will never give us static resistance. It will give, my dear friend, dynamic resistance. So R on is nothing but del V by del I. Is the dynamic resistance of SCR in a steady state? In a steady state. So I want to show my dear friend very easy things here. <coughs> this zone, this upper zone is called my dear friend steady state zone. So this upper zone, my dear friend, is called steady state zone. Okay, this zone is called steady state zone. So this one. So in steady state, obviously. Our SCR will offer that type of uh, controlled current and turn on resistance and turn on voltage. So here, this is called, my dear friend, conduction mode. Please be serious. Conduction mode. Hopefully this thing is clear. Conduction mode. Yeah. Tell me, everyone dear, you are getting all the points or not? Tushar, Sarvojit and everyone, Apurv. Tell me first, you are getting all the points or not? Now, my dear friend, I want to tell you easy things. See, somewhere at this location, after this one, SCR is going to in conduction mode. So here, SCR, the slope will be positive. So here, we can say the resistance R on is greater than zero. Please keep in mind, R on is greater than zero. And when the resistance is greater than zero, this particular zone, conduction zone, is called a stable zone is called a stable zone why it is called a stable zone because my dear friend because my dear friend in this case turn on resistance is positive and in the same period here the current gain not triggering angle the current gain alpha is greater than one where alpha is current gain so directly they can ask a question from the vi characteristic in the gate examination so be, be serious at this moment <coughs> Now, I want to define the zone second. This is our zone second, my dear friend, somewhere here. So, please give me a few seconds to clarify all the things here in proper way. Okay, this is the thing. Okay, so I want to show beta this. And it is called switching time interval or switching zone. Please be serious here. I want to write switching, switching or transition zone switching or transition zone switching or transition zone transition zone switching or transition zone so in this particular case our ia will be variable quantity as well as my dear friend vak also variable quantity so here I A, the anode current, in this case, my dear friend, I A, anode current is going to increase. Or in other words, here we can write, just give me a few seconds. Our I A current is going to increase and V A K across SCR is going to decrease. So in this particular case, my dear friend, see properly here. So I want to write some I A1. I want to write some current, my dear friend, I A1, I A2, I A3. IA4 anode current variation and so on and finally we have some current IA finally we have some current IA so here the IA1 is uh, less than IA2 is less than IA3 and so on and so on <coughs> now at some current uh, I leakage we have voltage VFBO so at this instant my dear friend at this instant we have some voltage VFBO so I want to write this voltage VFBO1 Again, current is going to increase, voltage is going to decrease. So I want to write here some voltage VFBO2. Similarly, here I want to write VFBO3 and so on. And finally, we have some V gamma turn on voltage. V gamma, some turn on voltage. Please tell me, dear, all the points are clear or not? 
<coughs> yeah, speak up fast. All the points are clear or not? Now, see properly. In this zone, that means switching zone. In this zone, my dear friend, this slope is negative. The slope is negative. So, switching resistance, switching resistance is less than zero. And the switching resistance is less than zero. So, that's why this zone is called unstable zone. So, this zone is called unstable zone. Please be serious. Unstable zone. So, this zone, I want to say switching transition or zone, or I want to write simple name beta, zone second. Zone second. And this is zone first. So, zone first, steady state zone is a stable one. Switching resistance less than zero. So, unstable zone. Unstable zone. If somebody will ask why unstable zone, just reply, sir, uh, SCRVI characteristics in switching or transition interval will have a negative resistance due to this region. Now, my dear friend, in the same region, switching one, switching region, we have current gain less than one. So, I want to write somewhere here, alpha current gain is less than one. And at this point, at this location, the current gain alpha exactly equal to one. So now, my dear friend, SCR is superior device in conversion to BJT in terms of current gain. In terms of current gain. Hopefully, all the points are clear to all of you. <coughs> now, what about next thing, my dear friend? This is the our next zone. So zone first, zone second. And I want to say, my dear friend, this is our zone third. So what is this zone third? Please be serious. So I want to write somewhere here about zone third. Zone third, I'm writing here. So it is forward blocking zone. So zone third is forward blocking mode zone. And obviously in forward blocking mode, the resistance is very high. So R of forward blocking mode is greater than zero. And due to this region, it is also called a stable zone. A stable zone. Okay. Now see properly. In the VI characteristics, how many zones are stable and how many zones are unstable? So just reply, so zone first and zone third are stable one and the zone second is unstable. Or simply we can say two zones are stable and one zone is unstable. Another word to define the same thing is two modes are stable and one mode is unstable. So please uh, keep this point or statement in your mind because it is really very, very important for gate uh, exam. Okay. Now I want to uh, set up some relationship in between forward blocking voltage and this IA variation. So here we can write, my dear friend, please be serious. I latching, sorry, I leakage current, this one, I leakage current is less than IA, this current, anode current, is less than some IA2. And finally, here we have some IA, where IA is steady state current. Please be serious. Similarly, we can develop one relation in forward blocking voltage. So I want to write here, my dear friend, VFVO is greater than VFVO1 is greater than VFVO2 and finally greater than V gamma. V gamma, it is also a steady state turn on voltage or turn on voltage of your SCR. So this is the final VI characteristic of SCR in this mode. My dear friend, please be serious to draw VI characteristics of the SCR. Now, I want to write few things. Please mind it. Here, this is the maximum possible. This is the maximum possible. This is the maximum possible. Maximum possible voltage rating maximum possible voltage rating in negative mode in negative mode okay and somewhere here it is called reverse saturation current so after this point after this point if we apply uh, still some voltage across the scr in negative one my dear friend after this point our scr will get damaged so it is the breakdown point it is the breakdown so somewhere here we have reverse breakdown we have reverse breakdown and due to reverse breakdown, our SCR will get damaged properly, okay, or permanently kind of. <coughs> now, hopefully all the points are clear. Now, I want to tell you another thing, my dear friend. Somewhere here in SCR, 
वन होल्डिंग करेंट इज डिफाइंड एट दिस पॉइंट आई वॉन्ट टू से सम लैचिंग करेंट दिस पॉइंट आई वॉन्ट टू से सम latching current so now we will discuss the phenomena of latching and holding current after some time hardly after 5 minutes okay please tell me all the points are clear or not so this is the vi characteristic of scr still if you have any doubt please let me know so that we can discuss each and everything related to your query yeah tell me first my dear friend please speak up so this is called steady state zone in conduction one this is off mode third one and switching is second mode and switching is second mode yes yes tell me fast okay so let's start next point now new paragraph see my dear friend we are going to discuss vi characteristics of ideal scr and practical scr but not with respect to like switching phenomena or switching uh, like uh, switching effect on the vi characteristics we want to convert entire correct characteristics into linear one into linear one sometimes this behavior require good knowledge of mathematics okay it is really not easy without the knowledge of switching currents for that we require depth analysis of scr in terms of designing so in gate or any other examination because the switching losses are very loss sorry switching losses are very less in comparison to power or load power so that's why we are not serious or too much serious about the calculation of switching losses but sometimes to provide the protection in the switching period we required also the level of switching power loss so we will discuss sometime later the effect of switching power loss as well as the effect of conduction loss but for the better understanding i want to take entire characteristics into linear one similar to diode so the, what is the diode practical characteristic is something like this in forward and something like this in reverse so the reverse vi characteristic of a diode is similar to uh, scr there is some difference in between forward characteristics and uh, due to as i told you due to very low resistance at high frequency or high switching frequency the power diode non linear characteristics we can convert into linear one and now same job we want to do with the vi characteristic of scr so what will be the linear vi characteristic of scr we are going to discuss okay so till now if you have any doubt please let me know okay so this is a practical vi characteristic of scr and now i want to show my dear friend okay i want to show my dear friend the linear vi characteristic of scr the linear vi characteristics of scr so be ready for this new things so be ready for this new things okay like this and my dear friend really it is not tough at all so i want to show you some switching period as well as another another things also so as i told you in the examination they will not give you heavy non linearity in the waveforms that's why we want to convert into linear one so give me few seconds to handle this thing <laughs> i want to say so this thing beta leakage current almost zero i want to assume leakage current is almost zero so that's why we are taking this is forward breakover voltage okay this is leakage uh, current zero and here i want to show forward breakover once we provide triggering once we provide triggering the switching phenomena will be there and now our scr is completely on so this is the vi characteristic in linear way of the scr in linear one of the scr hopefully this point is clear to everyone okay so i want to show somewhere here my dear friend is our latching current okay somewhere here i want to show our holding current i am not considering any leakage current so this voltage will be forward break over voltage and somewhere here we have turn on resistance which is nothing but change in voltage by change in current and this particular point is called v gamma now my dear friend i want to say this is our zone first this is our 
जोन फर्स्ट एंड इज कॉल्ड स्टडी स्टेट और कंडक्शन जोन स्टडी स्टेट और कंडक्शन जोन प्लीज ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड इज थिंग हियर आई कैन नॉट इंक्रीज माई स्पीड अनफॉर्चुनेटली ओके सो दिस इज अवर आई ए एनोट करेंट एंड समवेयर हियर माई डियर फ्रेंड इन दिस रीजन वी हैव आर ऑफ स्विचिंग इज लेस देन जीरो बिकॉज द स्लोप इज नेगेटिव द स्लोप इज नेगेटिव <laughs> so this is the final thing now what about reverse vi characteristics so in reverse i want to ignore just non linearity i don't want to ignore the limit of voltage reverse or forward so here i want to show the reverse vi characteristics okay so no need to show the at this moment a reverse saturation current but i want to show my dear friend reverse breakdown voltage limit so this is the limit of vbr and this is the limit of v at the o so it is forward voltage it is reverse voltage and this voltage is called turn on voltage turn on voltage okay <coughs> so this is called turn on voltage and in the range of in general 1 volt to 4 volts practically practically the range okay Practically, the turn-on voltage range is one volt to four volt. Okay, and I want to write, my dear friend, another thing here: V F V O in S C R approximate equal to V B R. Okay, in S C R. Okay, so in S C R, in S C R. In other devices, it is not possible. In other devices, it is not possible. so this is the vi characteristic of my dear friend scr in practical way but linear one okay so we can write here piece wise linear characteristic of scr so i want to write wait a moment i want to write here my dear friend piece wise linear characteristics piece wise linear characteristics of scr okay now we want to discuss again piece wise linear characteristic of scr but without switching phenomena without switching phenomena so give me few seconds because for the exam we are not sure which characteristic they will ask so in general they will give you linear or ideal characteristics okay linear or ideal characteristics so i want to show my dear friend when scr is completely on and uh, this one so here this is the forward blocking voltage is one thing this is the forward voltage blocking is one thing so now we are not providing any gate pulse but once we provide gate pulse we are not so serious about switching behavior so this is the another thing when our device is completely on randomly i want to show so like this and similarly my dear friend in the reverse way like this so we don't want to show at this moment vbr characteristic or uh, vbo uh, value so it is kind of unbounded ideal case so it is my dear friend minus of vbr it is minus of vbr reverse breakdown voltage and this is forward breakover voltage okay somewhere here our device is on somewhere here our device is on so this voltage is called v gamma okay now i want to show my dear friend here some uh, slope also so that we can understand in conduction mode so this is the vi characteristic of scr in conduction mode without switching without switching we, we are not showing our switching so this is the vi characteristics now similarly what will be the second possibility of vi characteristics i want to show like this of the scr in every cases we can show like this okay so here the vi characteristics in uh, different cases when we have turn on voltage like this okay and uh, another vi characteristic uh, we may have in this fashion also okay See properly. So here I want to show. Just give me few seconds, 
this is our r on resistance which is nothing but change in voltage by change in current and this is another r on so here in this case beta g r on is equal to zero okay r on equal to zero for this but v gamma is present for both cases v gamma is present for both cases <coughs> now next thing please be serious i want to show one more thing in this fashion when v gamma is almost zero but r on is present but r on is present so i want to show that vi characteristics of scr in this fashion vi characteristic of scr in this fashion okay so let me select some different color so that visuality will be uh, good for you okay yeah so this is the next uh, vi characteristic of scr when we have r on but we don't have v gamma okay and uh, the ideal vi characteristic of the our uh, switch is nothing but yeah this one so i want to show the vi ideal so many uh, many things uh, we have in scr to represent our vi characteristics and this is really very easy understanding wise also okay so here i want to write my dear friend this is our ia current this is our positive voltage we can say this is our negative voltage in general minus v this is my dear friend plus v so any characteristics in examination they can offer you they can offer you so now i want to write here this thing plus i and so on so this uh, uh, this green color characteristic of uh, will have my dear friend somewhere here we have v gamma equal to 0 this v gamma is not equal to 0 okay somewhere here my dear friend r on will be there and obviously this r on is change in voltage by change in current so if uh, in uh, if beta and scr they are not offering you any turn on voltage and turn on resistance then you have to follow this characteristics this one that one and this one so let me select only one uh, color for the entire thing it will be really very good understanding wise so you have to uh, consider this vi characteristic my dear friend when you want to show ideal scr like this so this is the positive i negative v and uh, positive v this color okay now this uh, light green color you can follow for v gamma zero r on zero this red color you can follow when R on is 0 but V gamma is not 0. And this yellow color you can follow when R on and V gamma both are not 0. So this is the different VI characteristics either in ideal case or practical piecewise linear. Or practical piecewise linear. Sir, how many hours in total power tonics crash course? We have sufficient hours. Okay, Bimal, we have sufficient hours. You just try to understand all the concept here. Okay. <laughs> So now I want to I want to write here here few points, okay. So uh, by which way I want to write? I am writing in this way, okay. This is this is V I characteristics of ideal SCR, ideal SCR in this color whatever I am writing. So this is the V I characteristic of ideal SCR and rest all characteristics, my dear friend. Rest all characteristics I want to show in this fashion so that no confusion should occur at the time of revising all these things okay so i want to show in this way now all these characteristics all these characteristics are practical practical vi linear practical vi linear characteristics of an scr of an SCR. So now my dear friend, we have that type of analysis for the VI characteristic of SCR. So please, it's my request, try to understand all the VI characteristics simultaneously on single page. Simultaneously on single page. So how we can show this thing? Just give me a few seconds. Let me, yeah, let me do one thing. Okay. So, just select my dear friend this thing or make a short notes on the VI characteristic of SCR. It really will be very useful 
for the gate examination. Okay. So here I want to show next characteristics. Here. Yeah, I think it is okay for you. Yeah, definitely. So these are the all characteristics of the SCR. Yes. Now tell me, dear, it is clear. So this is the practical VI characteristics and uh, uh, practical VI characteristics in non-linear form, exact practical, practical in linear way, here ideal and practical in different cases without switching currents or without switching period and conduction. Yes, think properly and tell me, do you have any doubt anywhere? Yes, speak up fast. Do you have any doubt anywhere? Okay. Now, my dear friend, we want to discuss. Now, my dear friend, we are going to discuss latching and holding current phenomena. Okay. Latching and holding current phenomena. What is the latching and holding current phenomena? We will discuss in detail. We will discuss in detail. See, my dear friend, it is really very easy to understand latching and holding current phenomena. Latching and holding current phenomena. Okay. So please write down first latching current and holding current. Latching and holding. Latching and holding current concept. Latching and holding current concept. Okay, so see, you know very well this concept is really very very useful for our exam. For either we can talk uh, about gate or ESE or any other PSU exam. So before discussing all these uh, concepts of latching and holding, again I would like to introduce SCR concepts, like means basics concept. Okay, so can you tell me, dear, how many number of layers are present in SCR? You will say, sir, answer is four. It is minority charge again, yes. Then you can ask, sir, why you are discussing all those things for the uh, discussion of latching and holding current concept? Because my dear friend, before discussing latching and holding current concept, we must be familiar with the rest part of the SCR. Okay. Now see, what is the magical things behind latching and holding? As I told you, SCR is semi-control device because it can turn on by positive gate pulse. But it cannot be turned off by negative gate pulse because the impurity level is somewhat high. So reverse recovery process is not done by negative gate current or we can say negative gate current is not sufficient for the recombination. Okay, this is the thing. Now, we want to discuss the latching and holding current. Thing. Okay, see what is the latching current phenomena? First try to understand theoretically. When we want to turn on our SCR and uh, we apply positive gate pulse in between gate and cathode. So due to this reason, some gate current will flow from gate to cathode and anode current start to develop or start to increasing. The moment at which, the moment at which we have sufficient electrons through the junction J2. We have sufficient electrons through the junction J2. Junction J2 will have breakdown. After this, like instant, we don't require gate current for rest time. Our junction J2 will automatically have breakdown after entering sufficient electrons through it. This point is called latching point means the minimum number of electrons required for the breakdown of junction J2 is called latching point. In simple way we can say the moment at which anode current is just greater than latching current we can remove our gate pulse device SCR will guarantee turn on. So that instant is called latching instant. My dear friend, the latching current is really, the latching current is really fantastic thing in the SCR. 
it does not depend upon the type of load it is the internal part of the scr so at the time of designing scr latching current phenomena and holding current phenomena is also decided or the magnitude of latching and holding is also decided so let us assume we are going to market to purchase one scr then they will offer some data sheet in that data sheet my dear friend they will mention the latching current is 150 milli ampere the latching current is 1 ampere the latching current is 2 ampere it depends so see let us assume we have purchased one scr and that scr is in our palm and we want to use this scr in different circuit like circuit a is pure resistive circuit b is rc type type circuit c is rlc type any other circuit may be rle type anywhere anywhere if we are going to use same SCRs, then then in every circuit my dear friend in every circuit the latching current you will receive same so latching current is always a fixed value will never depend any other component of the circuit except SCR except SCR and it is a pre-decided quantity it is a pre-decided quantity it depends basically the construction of SCR how much the impurity level what is the width and many more things so my dear friend once your SCR is designed you don't have authority you don't have capacity to change the latching current magnitude hopefully this thing is clear yeah tell me please everyone yes fast everyone tell me yes tell me dear please fast <laughs> so this is the latching current similarly what about a uh, holding current we will discuss sometime later okay so practically we require latching current around this two to two three percent or hardly a uh, four to five percent of the steady state anode current once we achieve this condition definitely we can remove gate pulse we don't require gate pulse for the conduction mode of scr so in steady state when scr is completely on your gate current will not affect the magnitude of your anode current Please be serious at this moment. Yeah, please tell me fast. Bitaji, each and everything uh, is clear to all of you. <coughs> so, first I want to write with a latching current. Okay, I want to write latching current. See, let us assume here we have some SCR. Again, my dear friend, we have junction J2. And obviously, whenever we have positive here and negative here, like this. Uh, so, we apply some positive negative voltage in this fashion with some resistance R. Try to understand. The moment at which we will apply gate pulse here, my dear friend, and this gate current is start to flow. This gate current is start to flow. So due to this thing, anode current will develop in this fashion. Now continuously you are providing your, my dear friend, gate current. So due to this thing, electrons will enter here. <coughs> Sorry. And anode current is start to flow in this fashion. The moment at which this anode current is capable for the breakdown of rest junction breakdown of rest junction or whatever electrons are flowing here in opposite direction electrons if they are capable to break down of rest junction we stop here this gate pulse and this equilibrium condition is called latching current phenomena is called latching current phenomena now tell me my dear friend everyone this latching current phenomena is clear so what is the most important thing latching current is an independent quantity will never depend upon circuit components or we can say uh, the external frequencies or we can say power factor or any other thing so latching current totally the part of your device only once you your scr is designed you don't don't have permission to change the latching current point Okay, so latching current is always a fixed value. Let us assume latching current I am saying 100 milliampere. So wherever you will go with that with that SCR, you everywhere you will get latching current same 100 milliampere like this. Okay, so hopefully all the points are clear. This is the thing. Now, my dear friend, I want to write latching current. So what is this latching current? Latching current is actually the minimum amount of anode current. Okay, the minimum amount of anode current after which we can remove gate pulse okay so what we can write in the latching current if you have sufficient time you can write latching current it is the minimum value of anode current it is the minimum value of anode current after which 
our SCR will go into conduction mode without gate pulse, without gate pulse. So the moment or instant at which I A just greater than I latching, definitely we can remove gate pulse. So we don't have any control over the SCR through the gate pulse when I A greater than I latching. Hopefully these points are clear. Okay, and it is independent quantity, obviously. Now I want to discuss my dear friend holding current. It is again really very very important for uh, like analysis. So I want to write here my dear friend holding current, holding current. Okay, this is the thing. Now what is the holding current definition? Can you tell me anyone? Can you tell me anyone? Yeah, tell me fast. Text me my dear friend, text me. Yes. <laughs> okay. Tell me first. Holding current phenomena. So holding current just opposes to latching current. Let us assume, my dear friend, our SCR is completely on. Our SCR is completely on. And now we want to turn off this SCR by the force commutation or any other circuit. So for how much time period our commutation will present? Or our commutation circuit will present will decide by the let's sorry holding current phenomena so what can be the definition of holding current listen to me carefully when the anode current or we can say the minimum value of anode current whatever we require for the commutation is called holding current is called holding current so the minimum value of anode current when it is equal to holding current kind of or IA is lessening less uh, than holding current we can disconnect commutation circuit from the converter so basically holding current is the minimum value of anode current after which our SCR will go into turn off mode not in reverse mode turn off mode not in reverse mode my dear friend please be serious at this mode okay so minimum current which must pass through a circuit in order for it to remain in the on state uh, that is not my dear friend uh, holding current I think or uh, if you are saying about a uh, latching current that is again somewhat different thing so what is the holding current yeah so uh, in on state we are not supposed to write off state will be good okay because uh, we have different type of commutation force commutation and natural commutation my dear friend so holding current is just minimum value of anode current after which your SCR will go into turn off mode turn off mode and it is not guaranteed in some converter that is different task but theoretically we have to give that this, this definition now what about next thing the moment at which the anode current is just lower than holding current my dear friend just keep in mind never disconnect your force commutation circuit never disconnect your force commutation circuit why because in general force commutation circuit we use in DC to DC converter then what will happen what will happen see properly my dear friend let us assume we have here some SCR in this fashion and the load is there here and I want to connect this supply positive in this fashion my dear friend now with the help of force commutation with the help of force commutation you want to commutate this SCR so the moment at which the moment at which our IA this current IA is just less than holding current you disconnect this force commutation circuit but see properly the moment when you will disconnect this force commutation at the same moment positive charge is here or the anode voltage is greater than cathode voltage of SCR so it will re regenerate kind of it will regenerate or will apply force to your electrons whatever already flowing inside this SCR so due to this external force your SCR may get turned off after disconnecting this force commutation so that's why holding current is not sufficient condition to turn off your SCR especially in DC to DC converter or whenever we have a positive voltage across the SCR permanently connected 
So what is the conclusion? When we can remove our force commutation circuit or external commutation circuit, only when our anode current is either zero or negative, either zero or negative. So the holding current phenomena is just a primary condition, not sufficient condition, my dear friend. Is primary condition not sufficient condition? Okay. In natural commutation, like for example AC to DC converter, we don't require such a, such type of phenomena. Especially we require holding current phenomena in the DC to DC converter. For the better understanding of commutation period, in that case we have to keep in mind we cannot remove our external circuit, whatever we are using to commutate our SCR, until or unless IA is not equal to 0 or less than 0. This is the key point. Okay. Now, I want to ask you everyone, Vita, can you tell me what is the standard relationship in between latching and holding current? Standard relationship. Do you have any idea? <laughs> so, please, mind it. I want to write few points. The latching current and holding current are always are always fixed quantities. Are always fixed quantities. Never depends upon. Never depend upon. Depend upon circuit parameter or condition. Circuit parameters or condition. Or condition. Okay. Now, I want to ask you a standard relationship in between latching and holding current. Do you have any idea, my dear friend? A standard relationship. Yes, everyone tell me. Yeah, a standard relationship between latching and holding current. Okay. So, see here, IL always greater than I holding and in some situation, it can be equal also. So, IL is greater than uh, equal to I holding latching current. Now, hardly this latching current can be two times or three times more than the holding current in general way. But we don't have any other way like uh, 2.5 or 3 or uh, 1.5 etc. This is not authentic way to represent the relationship in between latching and holding current. Okay. Now, what will be the required gate pulse width to turn on the SCR? Do you have any idea? Yeah. So, before discussing next topic, I want to ask you to everyone, my dear friend, do you have any doubt related to SCR, GTO, TRIAC, MOSFET, IGBT, any device? You please ask. Okay. We will discuss. We will discuss. Whatever you have doubt, just ask. Related to any device, you don't have a boundary only for SCR. You can ask anything from any device. Yes. Please start your job. You are free to ask anything from any device. You have good opportunity, my dear friend, at this moment. I am going to reply answer of your question in the live session immediately without any delay. So think over it. Sometimes in rarest to rare cases, we have such type of, of opportunity. So if you will ask, uh, if you want to ask uh, from any topic like, uh, okay, sir, I am not uh, too much familiar about GTO. So, I have this doubt. Just put that doubt here. Okay. Yeah, tell me fast. Yeah, now I think you have a lot of doubt, my dear friend, if you are an engineer and you are going to write your examination. Doesn't matter it is gate or any other exam. So, you can ask anything, whatever you have in your mind. Yeah, think over it. Think, just think. Okay, for example, can I ask you a very simple question to all of you, my dear friend? GTO is fully controlled device or semi controlled device? First tell me. GTO fully controlled device or semi controlled device? Yeah, think over it and tell me. And my next question is what is the holding current amount in GTO in comparison to anode current? Yeah, tell me. Holding current amount. In GTO, another thing, when GTO is completely on, now when GTO completely on or in other words, GTO anode current is greater than latching current. 
can be remove practically gate pulse or not so i need answer of all the questions if you have any idea okay <laughs> Okay, so dear, <coughs> we will discuss uh, whatever uh, like related to VI characteristic or uh, VI switching characteristics and rest devices performance in tomorrow class. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed this session and if you have any query, you can uh, contact me on my number like uh, you can text me on WhatsApp on my number. It is my number 9891706459. Just WhatsApp me. And my telegram channel is Ravi at the rate IISC. Okay. The, so this is the telegram channel and this is WhatsApp number. Okay. So if you have any doubt, you can tell me and be ready for the tomorrow session. And if it is possible, then try to engage your friend also and share this video with, with your friends. And as well as if you have any query or suggestion, you can text me. Okay. Thank you. Have a nice day.